because the Earth is not a very good clock. The Earth is slowing down, and our modern timekeeping relies on atomic clocks, which are much more accurate and stable. But people still want to keep uh, the time on our clocks roughly in sync with what the Earth is doing and the time on the clock the sun comes up. So every now and then, when that difference between our atomic clocks, which are perfectly stable, and the Earth, which is slowing down, when that difference gets up to a second, we slow down the clocks. We can't speed up the Earth, so we have to slow down the clocks. And so, just before 10 a.m. Eastern, there'll be a minute with 61 seconds to make that correction. You may not notice it, you may, it may not be very important for your wristwatch, but there's lots of technical infrastructure underneath that we rely on that has to work properly, that has to account for that second. So computer networks, financial markets, telecommunication systems all rely on very polite, very precise and stable time. It looks very simple on a clock display. It just ticks over with an unusual reading. But there's a lot going on. So there's a lot of technology inside the clock. There's a whole international timekeeping system where Australia keeps on time with the rest of the world and contributes to world timekeeping. And there's a whole lot downstream of this single clock display out uh, wherever measurement is used around Australia.